All of you fellows are D-Day veterans, right? Great. The Coal Transportation Museum put a lot of work into honoring the veterans of D-Day. After a parade, there was lunch and even music. There are also a lot of memories. Mac McCann is parachuted behind enemy lines in Normandy, France, at a battle to take back Europe from the Nazis. I wouldn't go through it again for a million dollars, but I wouldn't have given it up for a million. You know, it's, it's just a hard thing to talk about. But the stories are there. McManus jumped through bullet-filled air with 10 pounds of dynamite strapped to his body. It was nighttime. The lieutenant was first, I was second, and I didn't see him for almost two weeks. McManus was even shot while jumping, but he stayed on to fight. Technology, warfare tactics, and the world's political climate have changed drastically since the storming of Normandy. But the one thing that hasn't changed is the sense of duty these soldiers have. If they waved the American flag and played the Star Spangled Banner, I mean, we would have charged through anything. Red Briggs drove soldier-filled barges back and forth for 90 hours straight, battling chaos and fatigue as well as the Nazis, sometimes at the price of a friend. That always kind of bothers me to think, you know, he liked to fish. And but for all the dark memories of war, these men say they're lucky. Even 50 years later, talking about the invasion puts the sacrifice into perspective. In Bangor, Ian Vogel, News Center.